Class cast members to kind of dish on their time in Salem. I'm your host, Tony Moore, and I am joined by the old soul soulful, <laughs> James Law Jr. <laughs> and live with us today, we have a very familiar face from Salem, Miss Chriselle Staus, ex Jordan Ridgeway. How are you? I am good. Thank good, you for thank having you. me. Does it, I, I always feel like, does it sound weird when someone says, like, ex whatever your character's oh, yeah. name is? No, because I've heard it so long when I was on days, I would hear ex Amanda. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's <laughs> X, X fill in the blank just means you were working. <laughs> That's okay, right. I'm working on some more X's weekend. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, I have to say, I enjoyed you as Jordan Ridgway on Days of Our Lives. Thank like, you. you brought this like freshness to the show. That's a good. That's a good yeah. adjective. Yeah. Well, yes. and by freshness, I mean there was like another girl that could be in Salem besides the ones that we oh. had, and are we, and are related to everybody. <laughs> yes. Not really. Yeah. Right. Yeah. She she could have used a little fashion sense, and I could have given her a little eyeliner. She got there eventually. Yeah. But, uh, well, you're from the country. I mean, come on. Yeah. 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 She. she knew you're Tammy Sue. Tammy Sue. 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 <laughs> I know, they told me that. I was like, y'all could have told me. I have a real southern accent. Because you're from Kentucky, aren't you? I pulled that out real fast. Yeah, you're from, you're from Kentucky, right? <laughs> yes. So, yeah. So, hello. Yes, I am. So, oh see, it went, it went well with that. See, now I wish you were able to use your southern accent. I know. I know. Oh, dang it. And then Kate would have hated you even more. Ooh, I know. <laughs> it it could have been interesting uh, if they, yeah, let her go full blown Tammy Sue. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yes. I, got I love that after she learned your real name, like she never called you Jordan after that. I know. It was always Tammy, Tammy Sue. Sue. Yes. And I will say Lauren Cos was so funny. She, a lot of that she added because oh. she's, you know, she's so good at just embodying that character, and she's yeah. so such a pleasure to work with. But she, a, a lot of times, would, if it did say Jordan, she changes. Oh, that's so that. funny. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> But it was great. It gave me like something to play off. It was good. Nice. Now, what I mean, you and and Lauren Coslow had like such a butt head in the in yes. the show. How were you like outside of the show? Were you guys like cordial with each other? Were you cool? Like she's a cool chick. Yeah, to well, be that's honest. the funny thing. She's yeah. play same with like people in uh, you know they've been working on the same character for so long, mm -hmm. like Susan Lucci. They assume that they are their character. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's... And um, she's I guess you hear this all the time. She's yeah. actually nothing like her character. Yeah. Yeah, that's She's right. So yes. sweet. Lauren Coslow is so nice and funny, and um, you know, just very reserved and respectful. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as that camera goes, off, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. she is Kate, and I loved it. I, I loved working with her. I loved it. I mean, soap bitchiness is you know a staple, right? <laughs> yes. yes, of course. And you held your own in every scene. <laughs> thank you. Thank that's you. right. You did. <laughs> now, actually, as we go on. It's your birthday month. I just want to say that really quick. Birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. It's coming up in a couple of weeks. Thank you. And so you're going to turn 25 again. How I know. Did you know? I, just, I knew it. I just knew it. So happy birthday, early Thank birthday. You so much. I believe it's celebrating the whole month. So. Oh. Me too. Mm -hmm. I like that. In fact, I took it up a notch and I started celebrating uh, in June because uh, for my birthday, <laughs> my lovely boyfriend, Justin Hartley, took me to Paris. Hi, Justin. Ooh. So, hi, Annie. Hi, Annie. You're watching. Um, so yeah, so I've been celebrating since. Your own girl, that's right. <laughs> I love it. I've been, and that's a good excuse. Paris is a good excuse. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. nothing, nothing wrong with that. When this, well, two years ago, when I had a, a golden birthday. Oh, golden! I turned thirty. <laughs> I did 30 things in 30 days before I turned 30. Oh, I'm oh so wow. I had a list of things that I wanted to do before I turned 30, and so I spent 30 days doing that. And by the time my birthday rolled around, I was like, whew, I'm tired. <laughs> and I had like another month of birthday celebration, <laughs> so I was like, yeah, yeah. So it's that's like. a great idea. Yeah. I recommend that anyone do that for that. That's, that's, that's a great idea. I love that. So, I don't know. I feel tired hearing about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And so you also worked with um, some other wonderful people people on days too. Mm -hmm. Your father on yes, the show. I mean, he's a, a legend from North and South and all those things back in the 80s. I yes. loved it. How was it working with him? You know, um, I have to say, I was unfamiliar with his work before. Okay. And mm -hmm. I and I remember my manager is the one that's saying, before I worked with him, that's so exciting. They got James Reed <laughs> to play a father. And I was like, that is exciting. I'm really happy. <laughs> um, not know if it's, you know, right, no, I, yeah, yeah. Right, you know, so I didn't no, know. Right, and so, right. um, it, I obviously looked him up and then the second I met him, got to work with him, I was so excited to, yeah. you know, I mean, that's a, you know, that's a hard character to play. Ah, uh, yes, and, and I'm sure, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, um, it, it was great. And, and even those, you know, those scenes where, 
you know, they're they're gross, oh, they're yeah. dirty, they're oh, emotional, yeah. mm-hmm. they're physical. Um, you know, I couldn't have asked for a better oh, partner good. to work with. Yeah. He was just so respectful and almost too nice so that I would try not to <laughs> talk to him in between because I've got to get to this, like, yeah. angsty bro. So it was like, no, I felt bad. I told him one day, I was like, James, I love you. I just want you to know that. <laughs> but, I'm, but I'm not going to talk to you today. Too much. <laughs> I need, to, I need to feel my anger towards you. I cannot like you I'm right now. I'm some real side eye. It's, it's nothing personal. Right, I actually personal. love you. It's all for the craft. It's all for the craft. Yes. That's now, funny. of course, with, with uh, James Reed, you also uh, worked with Galen Gehring, yes. who yes. You know, oh, I've you. met on several occasions. Galen is a very funny person. Yes. Um, how was it working with him? Because you guys... You guys were like one of those couples that we were like, yay, you guys like, yeah. work so well with each yeah. other. So what were those scenes like for you guys? Well, yeah, there was an easy chemistry with Galen. He's yeah. so um, he's so fun, you know, mm-hmm. and such a light. Uh, when they first put us together, it was fun because Jordan was so harsh and yeah, well, all business. Yes. So it was nice to work with him because that character brought out a lightness in her, mm-hmm. slowly but surely. And so it was kind of nice because, um, you know, that's how you get dynamics in a character. So I yeah, liked mm-hmm. working with him because it would bring out more layers and who I was playing mm-hmm. and um, and then you know we just uh, you know had a natural friendship that was that was fun and I yeah. think that came through on the cam- on camera mm-hmm. and um, they were they were fun and yeah. then of course you know it, as it went on we had then they fell in love and it got more serious yeah. and um, Jordan never could get her get her are we allowed to curse on the show yeah <laughs> she never could get her I'll say her stuff together. So, okay. <laughs> we'll apologize later. Come on. Yeah, sorry. I'll, I'll keep it clean. <laughs> one, of my, one of our other co-hosts, Mark J. Freeman. Hey, Mark. And Mark. shout out to Peter as well. Uh, he always says, if you cuss, just say, oh, I'm sorry. Are we allowed to say that? So that's, that's how you, <laughs> like, you, that's you, how you cover yourself. Yeah, you're not, yeah. Later. No, wait, yeah. Ask for, for You don't ask for permission. You ask for uh, forgiveness later. Yeah, there is, there is. <laughs> yes, I love that one. I do. I love that one. Now, I remember when uh, we were first introduced to Jordan, and I think, I don't know if you remember, I mentioned this when we first met at the fan event that Jordan always wore glasses. Oh yeah, and that's I right. always thought that that there was something that was going to happen. Like maybe they tried to like very downplay her, like she was just this ordinary kind of looking girl. But I mean, you're beautiful, oh, hello. you know. Yeah. So hello. I thought that it was going to be like another Chloe moment. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They were gonna, she was going to take the glasses off, yeah. and roll down her hair, and it was like, <laughs> oh like, wow, you're gorgeous. <laughs> um, and I I feel like you mentioned that there was something to the glasses, but then. Typical days, fashion. Just they dropped went. it. Mm. Yeah, never mind. We'll go left. Yeah. Uh, there, there definitely were uh, quite a few different story points that were meant to be a certain way and yeah. they you know I think I, I think it's open now that um, a lot of things there was a lot of things going on oh it's open now back, yeah. backstage uh, that. Ken, Ken Corday <laughs> he, has, it's like, open. he has set the record straight like listen <laughs> there were some things and shenanigans going yes. on right. and yeah. so, yes. so yeah because you, you want to be careful you don't ever yeah. want to you know sound disrespectful yeah. at all yeah. uh, and I'm so grateful for my time there but there was there were a lot of things you know in mm-hmm. distress going on in, mm-hmm. in the background so um, I the original story points that were supposed to happen didn't always um, end up going Happening. the way that I think that they wanted it to. Yeah. And um, because originally the glasses, um, it, it was a very strong, like they were like, even in the love making mm. part, they were yeah. like, just don't lose the glasses. I was like, <laughs> oh my God, he's fogging my glasses. Like, I can't see. Can I please take them off? They were like, no, it's a story point. It's a big story point. Do not remove the glasses. So I'm like trying to kiss him and I <laughs> Like, where's your mouth? Where, what's going on? Where are you? It's so ridiculous. I was trying not to laugh. It's like at some point you just want to go. <laughs> it, it was so funny. It was, it was, I had a no smudge at one point. Oh, was, that's right. Oh my god. So, but it was very strong. They were like, "It's going to be a big point. Do yeah. you leave them on the whole time, yeah. you know?" And then, and then one day they were like, "You know what? Take the glasses off." And I was like, "Oh, but I but, think uh, we're doing the." And they're like. Nah, 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 just do something. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, then can I get some jeans that fit me? <laughs> 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 and we're just going to sequences and lashes. <laughs> I am a no. <laughs> Listen, big hair, high, big la- yes. eyelashes. Yes. It's Always all so. Southern women. But as a person who wears glasses, I was happy to see a character wear glasses on soaps. Yes. yes. You yes. don't see it very often. So I actually very... do have real glasses in real life, too, when I'm okay. like watching a movie or anything mm-hmm. like that, you know. Um, that now, if I ever need to play, I'd want to use my own because I can actually see them. But yeah. for it to, it yeah. was, I didn't mind the glasses to yeah. look, but I just, you know, I did mind it if it wasn't going to be a story yeah. point. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, so what did you enjoy about playing Jordan? Because she was such a, she started off as this, like, 
she had so many walls when yes. she came to Salem. It was like, nope, I'm here to do my job. And her past, too. Your yeah, past. and then all of a sudden, like, things started mm-hmm. slowly unraveling mm-hmm. with her, and then the past came back to All like, the driver's licenses, yeah. remember that we came down that? <laughs> In your, is it looked like a hotel room, but it was your actual apartment? <laughs> All these plush, big, yes. Yoshi Fairy things. <laughs> so, what what did you enjoy about about playing her? Well, I have to be honest. I I was really lo- uh, looking forward to the whole time for for all that past stuff to come out because, yeah. in my mm-hmm. opinion, that's when you start to tell really good stories yes. when you know where yes. a character's coming from. Yeah. So, um, although it was at the end, I liked when you got to see what happened between her and Clyde in the confrontation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And although it's really physically, you know, trying on those days and emotionally trying, and there's so many lines to memorize. Oh yeah. Uh, but that's what you know creatively fuels you. You know, yeah. like that felt like I earned my paycheck today. Like I really felt like you know it was like just creatively, um, you know, pushed me. Yeah. So yeah. I will say, you know, as fun as those scenes are to work with Galen and yeah. we're laughing and all that stuff, I love doing stuff like that. Yeah. But as far as like creatively, I I loved the the hard stuff because. Yeah. I wanted people to know what mm-hmm. she had gone through because yeah. that's the only way you can like a character is if you know why they're acting mm-hmm. a certain way. I exactly. feel like. Yeah. Now, how did you really feel about the Ben switch in real life? Oh yeah, from. Oh, you're <laughs> you, not taking it. I'm, I am. I'm gonna, <laughs> you're off the show now. You can, you can be off the show. This, this, I mean, if you have to see now, how did it feel when they switch well, bands? I gotta be honest. As an actor, you never want to see that happen right. to an actor. Yeah. You know, um, Justin, who is the guy who played yeah. um, the character before, is such oh, a lovely I, I like person. Yeah. He's married to Melissa Ordway, oddly enough. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh, I know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know that. Oh, okay. Um, I like and, her too. And, and so, I mean, I love them. They're great. He was great. Um, and then, and same thing with then I. Then you know they bring in Rob, mm-hmm. and right. he's great, and yeah, I love yeah, him. Right. Yeah. So I have to be honest. Um, it's just for me, my heart just goes out as an actor. I've seen that happen yeah. so many times, okay. and it just sucks, you yeah, know. Yeah. As yeah. far as like, it's great for one person, but it also, you know, it's like it's, it's so it just yeah. it's it's hard. Well, it, and then from a fan point of view, mm-hmm. it's like. What? <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, no. It's your brother. I'm like, like, that's your brother. Like, oh, this is a new. Why do they keep calling them Ben? <laughs> <laughs> and I, and I, it, it's funny because I, I mean, that's that's what happened with me because I, I know Justin, and I was like, yeah, good for you for being on days now. And then he wasn't there anymore, and I was like, who's this guy? Yeah. And I was like, they keep calling him Ben though, yeah, and I was like. Is he the new Ben? Like I had such a like a delay thing. Like, I'm like, it's like, why are they calling him Ben? Like, there's already a Ben. That's not Ben. And, right. and then my mind starts going like, oh god, they killed off the other one. Now he's come back with a facelift or oh, something. Oh, like well, that. you know, soaps. It is soaps. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. Don't get me started on the uh, on that. But well, uh, yeah, but they've done that many times. So at least they didn't do that. At least yeah. it wasn't that right. he had had. No, the so he came in. That was so, it. Yeah. So how were you able to do? What was your differences between the two actors? That like, you had to play brother and sister, mm-hmm. right? So were they kind of, what were the kind of the fun differences between the two well, guys? I mean, I guess, you know, Justin is more reserved and he had more of like a caring sense about him that he, you know, he was worried about me. And when, um, you know, they changed it to Rob, I think that he brought more of the intensity of oh, okay. the, you know, protective nature okay. as far as like protecting with his muscles. And I think Justin uh, was bringing more of an emotional yeah. protection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it really was just kind of like two flavors, you yeah, know, and it was yeah. uh, obviously that I think they wanted more of that physical stuff because they yeah. ended up having him beat up a lot of people. Right, right. Um, so... So I think that was just kind of what yeah. they were going for. And I felt like, for me, I could kind of, like, play on either way, okay. you know? Like, okay, I can go this way, or, you know? Um, so you just kind of got to... Unfortunately, I have no say in that <laughs> yeah, whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just kind of going with the flow. So on record, you had a good time with both gentlemen. Absolutely. Great time. Yeah. Oh, they're, yeah. they're such good guys, both of yeah. them. I am so happy for both of them. They both had great great success. Yeah. You know, Rob is still on the show. Yeah. And Justin's, every single time I turn the TV on, <laughs> he's, he's on, on a Coke commercial. He's yeah. on a commercial. He's, you yeah, know, he's popping up. He just, ca- he just he, got cast in that other thing. I the, saw. Um, the unauthorized Jesse, uh, oh, yes. biography yes. of Full House. Yes, yeah. yes. Good. He's, he's, he's fine. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he's he's so that's, fine. that's great. So yeah. it's a happy ending for everyone. Yeah. Um, speaking of our, our everyone and our fans out there, for those of you who are watching, thank you for tuning in. And yes, we will be you. taking your questions live. Um, so make sure you look in our chat room to look for the number. And Chriselle has so graciously said that she would love to talk to you guys. <laughs> yeah. So make sure you guys call in. And if you're too shy, make sure you write in our chat roll uh, your question in all caps so that way I can ask her. Yes. Yeah. 
I there love you go. It. Yeah, we have um, a few fans um, actually um, already have some questions for you. One person wanted to know what was it like working with Billy Flynn? Billy Flynn, <laughs> as you know, <laughs> plays Chad Demera. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. we are very oh, familiar with yes, 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 yes. yes. Mark J. Freeman is all about some Billy, Billy, Billy Flynn. Yes. 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 And actually, Casey was leaving right when I joined the show. So okay. I never actually, I think we were maybe in the same scene, but we never talked. No. It was yeah. like one of those, like, yeah. he's over there and I'm over yeah. here. Yeah. Um, so I didn't, so, so for me, um, you know, he was the, was the Chad. only yeah. Chad Demera that I had worked with. Okay. And um, I, you know, I thought it was great. I mean, it's one of those things that um, it's always fun when they bring in a new character mm -hmm. because, again, it brings out new layers of your character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for me, I had been, you know, having this dynamic with um, I almost said Galen, but um, <laughs> with, just with, kidding, right? With Rafe, you yeah. know, and so when you're always working with, um, you know, Jordan and Rafe together, it was kind of nice to shake it up and have mm -hmm. this like. You know, and kind of get Rafe jealous. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. I, yeah, I loved it. I mean, it's one of those things. I mean, does anyone ever come on here and they're like, they're an asshole? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right, 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 you right. Know, I think in this day and age, everyone's so grateful to be employed mm -hmm. and to be on the show that, like, nobody really, you know, yeah. brings that kind of energy in there. I mean, maybe they do, but yeah. I've been lucky enough to not work with anyone like that. Yeah, so. no, well, I think I think good. soaps today now because only four of them left. Yeah, there's like there was a wake up call, wasn't there? Once all my children, uh, when I have to live. Guiding light and, all, and as the returns went off, like in a year, they all went off. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, I guess, I guess actors are like, "We got a job. Right. Yeah. Let's do the yeah. best job we can do." Uh, yeah, I think so. And there's also like a sense of like wanting to do the genre justice mm -hmm. because you know we have gotten a lot of flack over you know certain yeah, things yeah. in the past, and sometimes it's valid, sometimes yeah. it isn't. Right. I feel like sometimes we do so you know such hard work and we don't yes, really you get do. a lot of respect for it. And then the other side of it is, yeah, there's sometimes it's like <laughs> silly and you have to laugh at yourself. Yeah, great. But that being said, it's you know you do want to kind of give the genre a good name if you mm -hmm. work in the genre so yeah, there's a that. sense of pride if you've worked in the genre of yeah. like wanting to give your best yes. you know so that yeah. you kind of work against that stereotype yeah, yeah. now what's what was it like transitioning from all my children to days because i know it's like it's you know now two families for you for you mm -hmm. like how was that transition for for you going from that one soap to another soap well um it was kind of fun because the characters were so opposite yes, it was very different. Yeah. um amanda was uh, you know, a glamazon, and mm -hmm. you know she would be pushing her stroller in a mini <laughs> and stiletto. You know, there were so many times I was even on set, like really. I, like, I feel like to dress up. I feel like there were times I was like, I feel so ridiculous. <laughs> I'm like going to the hospital. Like, so um, yeah, so there, um, and and everyone knew her story, and she was you know this whole thing. So going into a, a character that was so physically different mm -hmm. and also, um, you know, so closed off and um, kind of not angry, but very guarded. Yeah. Basically night and day from the character I had played before. Right. Yeah. That is what I actually was excited about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like having played Amanda for almost seven years, wow. it was kind of nice to um, jump into a new role on daytime that had that wasn't like, hey, let's get Amanda to be on days. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. So yeah. I liked right. that a lot. Yeah. yeah. I was saying, I'm a big fan of your work on All My Children. Thank so, you. and you, you make up a good point because you were a legacy character because you were born, literally born, out of two major characters, Trevor and, and on the show. On the show. <laughs> so I mean, like there was a baby, well, not baby her, but it was a baby Amanda. So you're a legacy where this is a whole new role. I have to ask because you worked with two people that I just I'm a big fans of, Ricky Paul Golden, yes, and Robin Matson. Yes. Two soap legends. I feel bad. I hate to I hate to burst your Actually, Robin Matson, I didn't work with her. Oh, you didn't work with her? She did play my mother, but yeah. when I was a 12 year old blonde. Oh, okay, okay. And when okay. I played her, it was. Um, Kate, Collins, Kate Collins, which I love. Another soap who, legend. She's great. Oh, yeah. I love her so much. So I have met Robin Matson, okay. but I personally mm -hmm. never worked with okay. her. Okay, yeah. well, how was Kate? Uh, Kate Collins, I will say, she actually is who I attribute um, my growth as an actress Ooh, because um, right. before that I was just playing the you know the kind of slutty, sexy um, whore. I guess. <laughs> we can say whore. Sorry. We say whore all the time. Yeah. Yeah. We, whore. Uh, well, we like to say uh, oh, like yeah. days does uh, slut. slut. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Slut. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, like a liar and a cheat, nothing yeah. too deep. Yeah. Um, and that's when they kind of were bringing in the redeeming arc to let you know yes. where she'd come from right. and they brought in the mother. And um, I remember a scene with Kate where she took me aside, and because it was, I'd never done emotional scenes before at this. I was 23 <laughs> years old. 
<laughs> and um, and she took me aside and she said, she grabbed my arm and she said, just talk to me. And it was just one wow. of those moments that like she connected with me and it was just such a giving moment. She was always had a motherly feel to okay, me in, in person. Okay. And so I, I dearly love her. Soap and legend I, also, another soap legend. And yes. I just think that it really was that moment that I, I think she knew I had it in me and yeah. just doing that one little thing, yeah. she made me not nervous. And wow. in taking away the nerves, I was able to shine. So wow. I love her. Yeah. And Ricky? And Ricky. Loved him on Another World, and then, yes. yes. He played my husband yes. um, on uh, Dr. Martin. Yes, one of the Martins, yes. the famous Martins, yes. And, um, yeah, it was it was fun. I mean, I loved when they did the wedding of the yes, two characters. Yes, I loved it also. They made <laughs> such a, that was so fun. I felt like I really was at a wedding. And <laughs> back then, it was all elaborate and everything back then. It was so, yes. so elaborate. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wow, they put money. This is real cake. It's so much cardboard. Sometimes it would be like cardboard right, with no, icing right. on it. And I was like, <laughs> okay. There's lunch, you know, there's yeah. lunch. Right. So um, that so, wedding was elaborate. Yeah, mm, yeah, I think we just, you know, I think we had such a good time yeah. with it. Um, you know, it's one of those things where with Ricky, he's off the script a lot. I was going to ask you that. He's known for his, yeah. Yes. So it was, um, it's it can be good and bad. You're you're thinking in your head, where is he on the page? And but it's also really good because the scenes are so alive in the yes. moment. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. We were not siting there and rehearsing this and saying you're lying and say my like I don't yeah. even know what he's gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it okay, is like a real scene. Yes, yes. Oh, I love it. So yeah, it worked really well. Uh, well speaking of uh, people who we don't know what they're gonna say, we have some callers. Oh, uh, here so we go. We're gonna put on our our headsets oh, yes. here yes. and take our first caller. Caller, welcome to our spotlight on with Chriselle Staus. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, it's Carolyn. Oh, Carolyn. hey, Carolyn. How are oh my you? God, hi. Carolyn is one of our very faithful viewers yes, she of is. Dish and Days. Yes, um, so we are very familiar with her. Uh, we have Chriselle here. What's your question for her? Um, well, I actually had two questions. The first one was about her storyline. Mm -hmm. That it had always seemed to me it was going to be a storyline about um, abuse. Mm. And I wondered if that had if that has been what it was supposed to be if she knew that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually. Or if it, it turned. Well, um, it, it's, uh, it did change a little bit, yeah. but it was always supposed to be about abuse. Mm -hmm. But originally, um, I think it's fine I say this now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, originally, <laughs> yeah. um, it was supposed to be that I had married my high school sweetheart, mm -hmm. and he became abusive. Ah. And I ended up running to get away from him. And then he uh, follows me into town. Okay. And I think... Um, they tried to cast that character a couple oh, times and yeah. came up with short, apparently. Because oh, wow. yeah. they wanted someone very charismatic, but mm -hmm. yet could, you know, slap a hoe. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know what I'm Sorry. Okay, Sorry. Right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love it. Um, but anyway, okay. yeah, so it did change um, a little bit because yeah. I, I think that's what that's, happened. That's what it would have seemed like to start with, and I was like, what happened? Yeah, yeah. Totally you were on it. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and you had and another my, my question? Other, my other question was, um, did you have to do some preparation when you did the interviewing at the Daytime Emmys? Because I thought you were so great at that. Aww. Oh, you're so sweet. Um, yeah, I got to work with um, Dan Kroll for uh, Soap Central again this year, mm -hmm. interviewing yeah. um, my friends and stars, um, daytime stars for the daytime Emmys. And I got to be honest with you, I've I've been in the genre for over ten years now, wow. so I have wow. just kind of made these relationships with people who I consider friends and it's kind of like a you know like a reunion of your friends that you don't get to see very often so a lot of that is just natural like excitement of seeing them and knowing what's on in their life yeah. just from social media but you don't necessarily get to yeah. see them all the time and so I think that's actually why it works just because mm -hmm. it's you know a natural chemistry and it's friends seeing each other yeah. and um, so to be honest with you if there is somebody that I don't know 100% normally Dan will take those questions mm -hmm. and when I do it it's really okay. um, my friends yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you, you do so definitely much. look up certain. You know, you, yeah. you definitely you know do, do a research. little. Yeah, yeah. yeah you want to know your friend. You forget how many times certain people have been nominated yeah. and that exactly. kind of stuff. So yeah. the, yes, the fine points. The answer would be yes, but um, the you know the bulk of it, not really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Carolyn, thank for, you, Carolyn. for calling in, and, and thank you. as I'm always, make sure you keep I've watching us for years on TV. So thank you. Oh, uh, thank you, Carolyn. Thanks for watching. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, we'll see you okay. Sunday at 5, Carolyn. <laughs> Always. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Um, we did have another question from Daquan, okay, one of our, Daquan. our another yes. favorites. Um, 
he wanted to know from the chat roll, uh, he's a big fan of Allison Sweeney. What was it like working with Allison Sweeney? Oh, yeah. Allison Sweeney, I mean, she is another legend yes, in the is. genre. And um, it's really cool. Actually, one of my first times working with her, she was directing an episode. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, it's, you know, it's kind of cool just because even if. Um, you don't watch the show. I feel like everyone knows yeah. who Allison Sweeney oh, yeah. is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know oh, what I'm do. saying? She transcends the genre. Like, mm-hmm. again, like a Susan Lucci or yes, somebody like that. Like, people just know who they are. Yeah. Um, and so it was an honor to get mm. to work with someone like that that's been doing it for so long. And, um, you know, kind of cool that you can put that on your little... Like, you know, I feel like I've gotten to work with such, you know, major players. And yeah. I'm just yes, grateful. Yes, you have. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's been really fun to kind of, like hear their point of view and how they see things and mm-hmm. um and 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 to see the lack of ego a lot of times yeah. is really oh, refreshing good. yes i'm sure so yeah it would, uh, she was a pleasure uh, we yeah. have another question from uh, a caller caller welcome to our spotlight on uh here at after buzz tv with chris shell styles what's your name and where are you calling from Oh, hi. Hi, James. Hi, Tony. It's Jamel from Brooklyn again. Hi, hey, Jamel. How are you? How are you? Well, you are live with us hi. once again, and Chris Shell, better known as Jordan Ridgeway, is with us. <laughs> yes, that's why. I, I, I mean, now you got me hooked from Sunday, so I, I saw you was promoting for this show. I said, let me call in for this one, too. Yay. Oh, I'm Shelly. so glad you did. Yes. Thank you. Chris Shell, I mean, you, I, I think like James was saying, I loved you on my children, too. You were fierce. And I, I remember, <laughs> I watched my children for a long time, and I remember Kate Collins' character when she played Janet and, and Natalie and everything, and it was a big storyline in the 90s when you were, you know, when your character was conceived. So it was, it was you, your whole character and everything you did over on my children was wonderful, and you were dynamite. But oh, when you were in the days you. of our lives, it was a shift. And um, it started off slow, but then when Clyde came in, you you did some, I think, some beautiful work. You really did mm. so much deep, dark, and I mean, you were all over, and it was, I think you should, I don't know, I think you should be nominated definitely for some of the things you did with um, the actor who played Clyde, cause it was so dark, yeah. and Thank it was all you. heartbreaking, and all your, your revelations. I was just wanting to ask... Um, you know, when you left, it, you were still doing wonderful work with, with Billy Flynn and everybody. And I was wondering for you, because um, it's really got to a good place. Do you think you, the character um, was, you know, let go too soon? But it really was picking up by the mm. time you, you left. It, you were independent. You weren't connected to any guy. Mm-hmm. And yeah. you were just really strong. You were very strong at the end. Well, thank you so much for saying all that very sweet stuff. Um, but, yeah, I do feel like, you know, I always felt like we couldn't tell really great story until we got out what she had dealt with Mm -hmm. and so for me i felt like that was when the story was gonna start after we got that out and so unfortunately yeah i did feel like um there were a lot of places to go after that yeah you know but again i'm not in charge of that unfortunately um so you never know they obviously left it very open-ended but um yes they did but yeah, I, I do agree. You know, obviously, I, I do think that um, then you could have kind of gone anywhere with it. Yeah, easily. You know, yes. now people are can be invested in the character mm-hmm. because now they understand. Um, but yeah, I unfortunately don't have anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was just kind of like, all right, well, uh, Jordan's going to be going away now. We were like, what? I know. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Like, that's it. How's it? I mean, I think that um, I think that probably ho- hopefully after they they do all the wonderful things for the 50th you know anniversary that I'm excited about with all the characters we know and love, that maybe they'll revisit you know some of the wonderful characters we've had you know this past couple of years mm-hmm. that really been helping you know get the viewers to stick to the show because you know I'm an ABC boy, and so we, <laughs> we have Natalie coming over from ABC to you know she's Serena we have you and that that really was the reason why I turned over to the you know oh. back. Oh, kids. Nice. I love Sammy too, and yeah. I used to love. I used to love the Who Was a Daddy, you know, in the nineties. So you know, I turned back when you when you all yes. came, and um, you know, I miss you. I really, you did. Oh, so that work, I just my brain sticks to you and Clyde and that hotel scene. It was, it was powerful. Thank you really so much. Riveting. I really Absolutely. appreciate that. Absolutely. I did, um, mm-hmm. you know, I, I did, you do feel like those scenes take a few years off your life to really yeah. deliver them the right way. <laughs> oh, yeah. And so I really do oh, appreciate that. And you know what? I, well, I mean, I don't know, uh, you know, write the <laughs> the powers that be or tell listen, them. <laughs> we are we are all about hashtag yes, bring yes, someone yes, back. <laughs> so we'll start we'll start the yeah, new right. one for you. We'll, okay. we, have, we have hashtag bring Jack back. Yes. Okay. We had hashtag bring Belle back. She's, yes. 
she's, she's back. coming back. Martha's know, back. So, so now we're going to have hashtag bring Jordan, Jordan back. back. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you, Joe, well, for calling in. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank we'll you. talk to you soon. I loved him. He yeah, was so he nice. was super sweet. Um, do Flattery we have anyone else? Flattery will get you everywhere. Right. Like, oh my God, <laughs> 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 Speaking of listening, we have another caller. Um, caller, welcome to AfterBuzz TV Spotlight On with Chriselle Stiles. Uh, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, it's Ashley calling from Toronto, Canada. Why, Miss hello, Ashley. Ashley. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing wonderful. Thank you for calling in. Well, do you have a question for Chriselle? I did. Um, well, Chriselle, I was so excited when I heard you were going to be on Dave. Um, my mom has known who you were on. She used to watch all my children. But I just started watching Dave that summer that you came on. So Jordan was one of the first characters that I really started oh. to, to oh, get nice. attached to. And um, I was just wondering, what was your favorite scene and least favorite scene Ooh, to film? Okay. Good question. Oh, that is a good question. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, my favorite scene and my least favorite scene. Okay. Favorite scene, I guess we've kind of touched on it. I'm trying to think if I could... Um, I mean, I, okay. Favorite scene, I'll say, you know, I like the dancing with Jordan and Rafe, and I yes, thought that was in a Horn nice Town Square. Oh, yeah, moment yeah. where he would try to get her back, but if, for a for a happier side, and then the and then the sadder favorite was the stuff with Clyde in the oh, yeah, in yeah. the uh, in the hotel room. But yeah. as far as unfavorite scene, I think anyone that's worked on soaps <laughs> knows when you're in those big group scenes that last all day, <laughs> and you're in stilettos, <laughs> and nobody's going anywhere because you're just in this big, long... So anytime there's more than, you know, 10 contract players on set, those were my least favorite scenes. Because you normally have, like, two lines. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're there all day standing in those shoes. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's funny about those scenes is that you guys suddenly become background actors. Mm -hmm. yes. so like So, like, there's, like, the main people talking, and then you'll see you guys in the back, like... Like, just like, <laughs> and it's, yeah. like, it's like, that's weird. Because, like, should we know what they're right. talking about? Yeah. 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 That's so funny. And a lot of times you don't want to know what we're talking about. Because yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> we funny. say it like this, but we're really like, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll censor myself on that. <laughs> yes, yes, we'll keep that to yourselves. Yes. Oh my but God. something normally around being the fact that our feet are hurting. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. it's a long day. Oh my gosh, 10 contract yes. players are in the scene. Yeah, yeah, we're not yeah, going yeah, anywhere. Yeah. It's true, yeah. <laughs> I get that. Well, thank you, Ashley, so much for calling in all the way from Toronto. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, and Ashley. Chriselle, can I just say that your hair looks fantastic right now? Oh, honey, thank you. <laughs> I said the same thing. It looks good. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you for taking my call. Thank, thank you, you, Ashley, for calling in. Um, so there was another question on the chat roll and i have to scroll up to see it oh no there was a comment leah uh Mulder said oh, yeah. you should have shot him <laughs> you should have shot him you know what? honestly that's what i thought was going to happen because when they did um the big event at Universal, and they showed like the promo of what was going to happen. They showed J Jordan with a gun, and I was like, "This is how Clyde ends. Right. Like Jordan is just going to shoot him, that's and it. then that's how she." Because by that time, we knew that you were leaving the show, right. and I was like, "Oh, she's going to shoot Clyde, and then she's going to ride off in the sunset. Right? She's going to grab one of those IDs, yeah, 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 yeah. And then pick up a new roll, or she's black. Either that, or she was going to go back in that box and pick up another ID and go, oh, bye, y'all." Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. I know, either that or also, like, I, I, I was thinking, wouldn't it have been interesting if Rafe had come in right at that right, moment? No, right. yeah. And then, then he realized, because he never knew what happened. No. To this yeah. day, he never knew what happened. Yeah. So I think that would have also been kind of a cool way to, mm -hmm. to play it. To kind it. of wrap but, things up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 it happens. <laughs> what, what are you going to do? Uh, Raymond, do we have any more calls? On there? Okay, we're good. All right, I have a, I have, we can now, take these off for a bit. Now, I have a question. Um, you are also part of a show, call, a show called Youthful Days. Yes. Mm -hmm. So can you talk about that a little bit for the fans who don't know? Yeah, I'd love to. Um, YouthfulDays.com. Every Sunday we have a new show yes. that comes out. 
And um, just this last week, um, I got the pleasure of getting to punch Scott Disick in the face. <laughs> I, How ironic this like, week. I feel like many people would love to <laughs> trade places with you, including Miss Courtney Kardashian yes, herself. Yes, it goes, <laughs> so she do not know, he is the cheating yeah, alcoholic um, yes. husband of Courtney Kardashian. Yes. 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 All, all allegedly. There's yeah, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly. Yes. 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 Um, but yes, we had a scene where we go on a Tinder date. It did not go well. Tinder. I got to um, punch him in the face, and it was um, it actually, you know, it was on the cover of Star Magazine. I think yeah. they, they were trying to make it look like he really did get punched in the face. And then, of course, when you open the magazine, you see yes. this for a show. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I got a lot of play when people were like, wait, somebody a girl punched him in the face. Like, they were hoping it was maybe Courtney or something. Yeah. 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 But, yeah, so that was fun. Um, but, yeah, every Sunday, mm-hmm. Youthful Days, we have a lot of other um, cool stuff I work with. Um, you know, Casey Moss is on the show mm-hmm. from Days of Our Lives. Yes. yes. And um, we've had a lot of uh, Days of Our Lives people on the okay. show. I feel like Jen Lilly. Yeah, Jen Lilly yeah. was Jen on Lilly's there, too. on the show. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, there's um, a bunch of people on the show. <laughs> well, no, well, no, who, do you, um, who do you play? No, oh, no. okay. I play Zoe. Okay. And love she, that name. Thank you. Oh. I had nothing to do with I know. But I love that name, but, Zoe. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, that is a good name. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, she's basically a... Uh, kind of the equivalent to a CIA operative. Oh, okay. And, um, but you don't know that, obviously, at okay. first. Right. And um, she's basically got this very, like, high power job, but she really is a regular girl. And okay. so you kind of get to see her. You struggle with the balance of okay. having a real life and yet having this life that prevents you from having a yeah, real life. Yeah, right, right. So, um, you know, I think she struggles with wanting to leave all the time and okay. yet wanting to do the right thing for her job. So... It's a it's a big mess. And it's fun <laughs> Which we like. Which so we like. Yeah. How long is the, are the episodes? Um, they normally um, they're all under an hour. Yeah, they're, yeah, mm-hmm. they're probably around forty minutes. Yeah, that's what yeah. I thought. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I saw that. Now, many people want to know like what you've been up to since days, and one of the things that you've been up to is mistresses. Yes, which Hi. your episode Hi. is coming on this Thursday yeah. this on Thursday. ABC this Thursday. at eight. Yes. Yes. Uh, eight, uh, and then uh, check your check your list. Check. <laughs> Mistresses this Thursday on ABC. Check your list. list. <laughs> <laughs> but tell us about about that yeah. role um, and what's yeah. what we could expect to see. Yeah. Uh, so I had so much fun. Uh, we got to shoot in Vancouver, which Ooh, is you beautiful. know kind of, yeah, beautiful. really really fun. Yeah. Um, I got to um, my scene is r- with Rochelle on the show, mm-hmm. who is so gorgeous. But it was actually cool because her scene is it's very funny scene. Yeah. You know. So it's you know sometimes the show um, it's it's kind of like a soap at night. Yes. I would yeah, say. Yeah. You know? yeah. So they have drama, they have all this. So I thought this was kind of cool that it's like a really funny scene, and um, I will um, say she's basically coming into what she thinks is a regular yoga class, mm-hmm. and she quickly realizes <laughs> it's one of those hot Bikram yoga oh. classes, and she is not prepared. So her and I that's how her and I interact, and it, it's really it's really funny. So yeah, it's this yeah. Thursday. Um, it's kind of cool because my boyfriend, Justin Hartley, is yes. also on the show, and he'll be in the same oh. episode. So. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, funny. Yeah, oh, but wow. unfortunately, we don't get to work together. But, oh. but it's cool, though, like, yeah. to watch it, and we're yeah. both in the same. <laughs> now, you've also been doing a ton of other stuff as well. Mm-hmm. You you have the web show, you have Mistresses, but you also have a film that's yes. coming out as well, right? Yes, it's called Another Time. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I don't have um, information as to when, um, you know, I'll be able to tell you when to see, okay. when you yes. can see it, where you can see it. Yeah. But follow me on Twitter. Twitter at Chrishell7. Obviously, I'll mm-hmm. let all that information be known as soon as I have yeah. it. Um, but it's awesome. I mean, we have uh, such a stellar cast. Mm-hmm. Um, all everybody has done such great work that's part of the cast and um, it's a really fun role that I love to yeah. get to play this character that's like she inherited this huge business from her dad, and mm-hmm. she's going to merge because she's in, ill-equipped to take on this okay. company. But yeah. she wants to go and build libraries, like in you know <laughs> okay. she she's, she wants to do charity work. Okay. Money money doesn't really mean a lot to her, and so it's kind of a fun again. It's just it's fun to play a different role, yeah. totally yeah. different from anything I'd played before. So um, I'm looking forward to letting you know when you can see it. So yeah. I'll keep you guys posted. Well, you let us know, and we'll be glad to share with you guys where you can go see it, when you can go see it, because we got to support. 
support Michelle. That's Thank right. You. In that's all right, of her endeavors. Yes, Thank that's you. right. Oh, that's now, mentioning you said charity in the movie, you also have a charity you're associated with. I do. And it's um, Upward Bound House. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you have some personal connections to it, apparently. Oh, you did your research. I did do my research. I, I did. I, I did. See it was beautiful, but we had some of the connections that we were talking about. Yeah, yeah. upwardboundhouse.org. Um, it's an amazing charity. It's here, right here in Los Angeles, mm-hmm. and they have a couple different ones in Santa Monica, Culver City. And basically, they there's a process of accepting families, and it's normally uh, single mothers with kids, but okay. sometimes it's also single fathers. Oh wow! Um, sometimes it's mom and dad and kids. Yeah. Um, but they give them one year, and they basically they don't just give them a place to stay. They're giving them a place to um, take classes, mm-hmm. work on their resumes, oh, get them business clothes for interviews, oh, wow. giving them housing, um, child care while they're there. Wow. Melissa Claire Egan is my best friend. Oh, yeah. She's on The Young and the Restless. Yes, she plays Chelsea. And her and I did a lot of work where we would go in and do a, a theater class for the kids. Oh, cool. So while the parents were either working or doing yeah. classes, we went in and we taught the kids you know, different theater games and stuff oh, like that. Fun. And the coolest part about it is that it doesn't look like you know a quote unquote homeless shelter from okay. the outside at all. You wouldn't know wow. that it was. And I remember. So for those of you do, that don't know, I used to be homeless yeah. for a few times in my life growing up, and it's really hard. And as a kid, it's embarrassing, and yeah. it's silly now to think about think back on it. I mean, I would have never even uttered these words before, right. yeah, right. but now you know you kind of have to own it because it's one of those things. As a kid, you you don't have anything to be embarrassed over. You, yeah, exactly. You, you know, yeah. it's not yeah. your fault that mm-hmm. that's that that's the case. Yes. So I just remember thinking how happy I was for those kids. They don't have to be embarrassed. They're walking right. into what looks like a home. Uh, so I just my heart goes out to to that charity and please go to that website for more information. Yes. I, I truly love what they do there. Yeah, and we'll be sure to put the yes. uh, that address in our description below in case you guys forget yes, it. So make that. sure you, we'll tweet you go down there. Yeah, Thank and we'll tweet it out yes, and everything anyway. like that. Yeah. What have you what have you learned from those experiences personally that's taking you through this world of acting? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, <laughs> to be grateful for every yes. single thing that I have because, yeah. you know, when you come from literally nothing, yeah. um, to be sitting here and doing this, right. that's probably why I always come across so happy <laughs> 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 yeah, no, definitely living in gratitude. Yes, yeah. mm-hmm. I think that's key. You know, just being really, really uh, grateful and in the moment and understanding mm-hmm. that it's not one of those things as actors where we're always thinking, "I'm going to be happy when I get this part," or "I'm going to be happy when I can say I have this on my resume." Yeah. Like, I'm just so happy to have done what I've gotten yes. to do and to be here and mm-hmm. be able to, you know have like these experiences that yeah. I've had, you yeah. know. So I think that, that will that comes into your mm-hmm. work, you know, when yeah. you have those hard days yeah. that you have to play the grime and grit. Like it wasn't all obviously yeah. like rainbows. You <laughs> right. Know? Right. And yeah. you draw on that and it yeah. helps you, you know, get there. And like I said, it sometimes takes years off your life when you <laughs> emotionally like delve into those yes. things. Yeah. But but it feels so rewarding when you're done because yeah. you know that Somebody can like it or not, but it won't affect you because you know that you were experiencing it in that moment, and that's yeah, all that you can ask for from yourself. So. I like that. I like yeah. that a lot. Yeah. Would you like to do more comedy? Speaking of that, I would like to. I can see. I can see. Yeah. Now that we know I, you I, off I camera, let's see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, yes, actually, I actually produced um, my own original content show oh. that is all based on that. It's kind of like a comedy, um, basically like a soup beginning, like which is the headlines of Soap World. Yeah, 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 the yeah. And then meets the like, interview in the middle. And then it ends with like more oh. like a Jimmy Fallon type uh, game at the end. Oh, oh wow! Um, yeah, it's wow. really really fun. Um, I'm trying right now. I'm shopping it around, okay. trying to see what the right route is for it. But yeah. you know, even if not, like you know, maybe I'll do it for the internet, see where it goes. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. There's yeah. a couple. You know, who knows? It, yeah. Either way, it's fun to do. Yeah. And um, but yeah, I would comedy. like to do. Comedy. I can see you doing comedy. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Of course, Definitely. with that, you have our full support. So yes, wherever you put it out at, you let us know, yeah, and please. we'll make sure we yes. get it out to you those fans. Thank you. Yeah, now, we do have a question from our chat room, and uh, someone wanted to know if you would be open to returning to daytime. Oh, I, I would absolutely <laughs> be open. You know, yeah. I feel like it's one of those things where after so many years, I feel like I have a, fan, a home there, yeah, you know, you and yeah. um, the fans have just been so amazing, and um yeah, I mean, I would never. Um, the only thing that I would want to do is to make sure that it's you know the right role mm-hmm. for you know you don't you don't want to. For in my opinion, you don't want to play the same role that you already played. No, of yeah, yeah. So you know, as long as it's not that, like, I feel like I'd love to. You know, yeah. I feel like Jordan was so. Um, 
boxed in and it took her so long to be able to um, come out with her truth that if, you know, it would be nice to do another yeah. character that's more like balls to the wall kind of thing. Sorry. Exactly. Uh, you know, like a little more like comes in like who she is yeah. and yeah. like guns yeah. blazing. Like. Yeah. But of course, you know, you can't, you know, Maybe I will just write it and like yeah. hand it to like hey, there you go. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure possible. Oh my <laughs> like, god! Yeah. Yes. Speaking of, some people uh, would love to see you on Young and the Restless. They well, say yeah. that a lot of your buddies chat. are over there. Yes. 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 Also, Doug W says I haven't seen Chriselle since AMC. She looks the same, doesn't age. Okay. Smiley face. Okay. What did you say when you <laughs> Doug, Doug W. Doug, what camera am I on? Thank there you. Doug. you go. <laughs> Every or camera. Or that one. Oh, okay, I'll send you the check later. <laughs> <laughs> check later. <laughs> and we have uh, Tracy Newman who wants to know who were your idols while growing up. Mm, okay. Ooh, my idols growing up. Um, after wise or just in general? Just in general. Because, yeah. I mean, in general, I'm obsessed with Elvis. Okay. <laughs> oh, funny. Oh, my my God. dog's name is Presley. Yeah. Um, but, in, you know, acting wise, I, I remember always ha um, loving Sandra Bullock because she did comedy uh, okay. and she did yeah. drama yeah. and she mm -hmm. just, you know, and this was like back before it was, you know, like everyone, now everyone yeah. is obsessed with yeah. Sandra Bullock. Yeah. But I have loved her ever since Speed, which is when she, oh, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, introduced like, her yeah. and then she did Miss Congeniality, oh, yeah. which I was like, oh, <laughs> She does comedy. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would name those two right away off the top of my head. Now, I went to Graceland finally for the first time a few it. months ago. I went to Memphis with my, my niece, and I cried a little bit. You did? When I got to the gates, because I'm a big Elvis fan, so yes. I got to the gate, and the musical gate, and I'm like, I'm here. Like I could. I just. I just. I just. I, 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 I could. Because you drive up. It's like in this neighborhood. It's not the greatest neighborhood. Then you see the Lisa Marie first. You're like, that's the Lisa Marie. Yes. Oh my god. And then you get to the. And they're like, there it is. And I was like, oh. I was like, oh my god. So I. I saw for you. Have you been uh, to Graceland? Have you ever been I there? Ha I haven't. Unfortunately, okay. I hate to say that because yeah. I feel like I have because I've seen. Yeah, I'm so sure. Many pictures, I'm sure. But I have never been. Um, I always thought that I missed my calling if I'd been born a long oh, wow. time ago. I could have yeah. been in an Elvis movie. Yeah. I don't you could have been. He did a million of them. She could have been. been in oh, yeah. easily. Been like, yeah. Oh, easily. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now, uh, there is another question, and he starts off with, laugh out loud, this is a funny question, but uh, Dane wants to know, would you be open to being on Queens of Drama, Queens of Drama Season 2 if it gets renewed? <laughs> <laughs> no, unfortunately, um, they did offer me to be on the show. Oh, they? Oh, oh, they did, oh. and I, I, I just thought it wasn't a right fit for me. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, yeah, and that happens. Like, reality TV isn't, you know, for everyone. Right. Yeah. Not everyone wants to be a part of it, but I do know that you like watching reality TV, and one of your favorite shows is Big Brother. Yes, yes. Big because Brother. someone wants to know uh, if you still do watch Big Brother, because <laughs> apparently they used to tweet you back and forth about yes. it a few years ago. I need to apologize to them because I normally tweet about Big Brother, and I went to Paris in Chicago for two weeks, and yeah. that's when the show came on. Yeah. I came home, I was so behind. I'm still playing catch up. I'm trying not to read too many spoilers. I have like one more episode to watch, so that's yes. why I haven't been tweeting yet, because I'm still behind from You vacation. should watch um, the Big Brother After Show here on After Buzz TV. We do the recaps yes. for the first two weeks. Yes. I, I, I do that one. I'm so. going to check that out. Check yes. It out. Because mm -hmm. I, now I'm like catching up, but that's why I haven't been tweeting about it. Sorry. And <laughs> Leah wants to know what are your hobbies? Oh, what do we do? Oh, what are my hobbies? Okay. Um, well, I love to read. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a boring one. Um, it's no, that's a good one. It is. Because <laughs> I feel like people don't read anymore. I know. Really? No, and, seriously. And when they do, it's like I'm. I'm a little old fashioned. I like to actually have the book. Me too. I don't I don't like the Kindle. I just bought the, one on a Kindle the other day yeah. out of desperation because they didn't have the one I wanted and yeah. I stopped reading it. It's so It's so weird, annoying. right? Yeah. 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 It's, it's something about having the book and being able to turn the yes. page and have your bookmark and put it in. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I can't agree more. Yeah. So <laughs> so reading, uh -huh. um, I love you know, I have a dog who I am obsessed with and I like taking her to like, <laughs> you know, anything to do with my dog I love. Yes, and yes. then um and then you know, hanging with my friends going to um, I used to karaoke used to be one of those uh -oh, ones, but uh -oh, I love a good karaoke I, I, I do too I do too but I have uh, backed off a little bit <laughs> they close dimples which yeah. is like yeah. the oh, mainstay like karaoke right? yeah, yeah. yeah. So I've had to ha I've had to find new hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> so do you and Justin plan date nights? You're the working actors. So yeah. um, how do you work that out? To be honest, we don't. I don't think that we plan it as much as you know. It's just like, hey, we're not. Really? You know, let's go. You know, it's, we're more like go with the flow, last minute kind of stuff. But we okay. do go out all the time. Okay. okay. Um, but it's just more about like 
Yeah, it's not like one of those things where it's like, okay, Friday, right. we're going to... You know, now it's Friday, and we're, we're both off, okay. Exactly, yes. yeah, and okay. we, you know, we just end up having a blast, but there's not really normally a plan, unless we have an event or something yeah, like yeah. that yeah, to yeah, go yeah. to, but it's, um, yeah, we just, the same thing happened, we were just in Paris and Chicago, like I said, and um, we didn't plan anything, and we wow. went and saw everything, we did everything, and um, it was kind of nice to wake up and feel like, okay, what do we want to do today, as opposed yes. to like, we have to be here, we have to be here, I like that. So well, as you're nice. an actress on a soap, you mean it's fast paced. I'm sure you're like, that's yeah. all we do is, okay, now it's your scene, now it's time for this scene, okay, stop, now right. it's time for, like, it's it, nice to something different. You're right, so maybe yeah. that's why. It's yeah. like, okay, there's no schedule. No, no, just it. It's just wake up, we feel like waking up. Just and wake that's up, it. like, what do you want to do now? We'll just go here. Perfect. Yes. Sounds good. Right. That is, that we'll go is left. Our speed. Let's yes. go left, and that's it. Yes, we love that. Yes. <laughs> now, so that I don't exclude Sarah, who has been wanting to know uh, this question, uh, would you be open to having a role on Nashville since you have oh. like a country oh, background really? and a country accent? I love how these people are asking if I'd be <laughs> <laughs> She's an actress for Why hire. Would you be open to uh, yeah, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, listen, if, if there's any show it's to so plug, nice. like what role you want to be on, yeah. it would be this one because how long have I been plugging hashtag Maxine <laughs> Sun on Days of Our Lives <laughs> since we started? Yes, so yeah. this is a great plugger. Like yes. you never know who's it. watching. Yeah, you never yeah. know who's watching. Yeah. That's no, right. I mean, it's just I, I think it's so nice, but yeah. you know, a lot of times people don't know how the business works and that mm, kind of stuff. Right. Um, but yeah, I feel like um, as long as it's not a part where I feel like I'm morally compromising something yes. okay. or, you know, uh, maybe it films really far away and it would take me away from my family for too long. Yeah. Um, for the most part, yeah, yeah. I, would, I would be open to it. Nashville, actually, one of my best friends lives there. It would be really fun. Yeah. Um, but, I don't, but I don't sing well enough to be on oh, <laughs> You, you have to have a lot of drinks <laughs> and you, you to loosen. To, yeah, and I and I like the microphone with auto tune on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, and then yeah, I sound yeah, amazing. Yeah. Well, you know, you, there, there are times where we like to play writers on this show as yes, well. Yes, we do. Yes. So I'm gonna write your part on Nashville for you right oh, now. Okay. You will play the wannabe singer. Who sings at every karaoke bar oh, in, like in Nashville? She yeah, really yeah. Sing that yeah, yeah, well. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, but looks amazing. Well, of course, oh, well, of course. You. And yes. you get discovered mm -hmm. by a record exec to be brought on as a new artist because he's actually in love with you. Hey, that's it. Done. Hey. Done. Done. Like Just it. call me the new writer on Nashville. <laughs> yeah, 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 ABC. Please, please get the job. So yes, AB, exactly. ABC. Yeah. Come on, ABC. <laughs> now, I would, I've been wanting to ask because I, I have done some research on you. Um, what is part of your ethnic background? Oh. I, I had I had seen rumors that there might be some Japanese and Spanish yes. in there. Yes. Um, so my mom is is white, which is basically you know Irish, yeah. and I think there's a little bit um, American Indian. But then my dad is half Japanese, half wow. Spanish. Wow. Wow. So um, it's funny. My kid pictures, I look much more ethnic. I don't know what happened. <laughs> 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 I like, grew out of there or something. I, I showed you baby pictures. You're like, <laughs> well, no joke. They look at my baby pictures. Like, it doesn't look like you. <laughs> I feel like that's a, a hashtag TBT yes. for this Thursday. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Like, you know, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, my parents thought it'd be a good idea to perm my hair, Ooh. and I didn't know how to take care of it, and oh. it was just a, a disaster. Yes. And then also on top of that, a bad haircut. Yikes. It's just yeah, they're bad. Yeah, um, but maybe, maybe one day well, if I feel really good about myself. <laughs> trust me, we all have those those yeah, we do, we do. pictures that. I, let's just say I used to have braids. Did you Did really? You? Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. How old were you? I was I was in middle school. Okay. That's cute, I think. It, yeah, probably. Yeah. It was, and I actually remember the day that I went to school with them, and I actually covered it with a hoodie at first because I didn't know how people were going to react, and then I finally did an unveil. <laughs> And, and I had braids, and people were like, "Whoa, what is that? What's going on?" What so that? yeah, but it was it was more traumatic when a few years later, when I got my hair cut, and my dad didn't cut it right. So oh. I went to I went home from school early because I was like, I cannot handle this. <laughs> I go. My hair is not right. I gotta go. <laughs> I did that once with, with some bleach hair dye. Uh -oh. I turned it like spotty orange, not even all over orange, oh. but like white, orange, oh. black, all uh -oh. kinds of yeah, not good. Uh -oh. Oh. Now, where does your name come from on that same level? Where, is, where yes. does the name come from? Well, um, so sorry for those of you who heard this a lot. I, uh, <laughs> I'll make it quick. It's basically uh, my mom was having car trouble. 
Okay. Well, she's pregnant. But remember when the Shell stations had the mechanic yeah. thing? Well, there, yeah, yeah. So she was getting her car work done, and she went into labor. And wow. so I wasn't born in a Shell station. The guy, oh, you know, oh, I go the hot, you know, the ambulance comes, everything. But the the man that was working there was so lovely to her and holding her hand mm. and um, everything. And his name was Chris, and she wanted to somehow incorporate his oh. name and name me after him for helping her. And yes. so she thought Chris, and it was Shell, so it's Chris. Chris Shell. <laughs> oh my God! I never. I knew that. love that song. Oh yeah. my god, me too. I wish I. Hi, Chris. I want to meet you. <laughs> yeah. I, I've never met him as an adult. Oh attorney, my god, so. that's wow. hilarious. Yeah. But it turned out to be <laughs> such a beautiful. No, it is. It's, I, I'm yeah. with like some great grandmother been, or something. Been real oh, bad. trust my me. My dad's Exxon. joke is every Thanksgiving he loves to say, "Good thing it wasn't a Texaco. You'd be Chris Sexico." <laughs> <laughs> Or, or try being my dad, who wanted to name my sister Kiyomichus Eshikia. Whoa! What? That's the first name. What? Yeah. I have you, no idea. Did someone no, talk out of it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yes. They settled for Lakashka, but <laughs> <laughs> Kiyomichus Eshikia, like, Wow, she yeah. would she would still be in school trying to learn how to spell her name, yeah. Yeah. and especially yeah. on those papers that with the you know the papers oh, that yes. had like the big line with the yes. dot, she would have filled up like a whole oh, totally. sheet of paper. It sounds like our families have but yeah, unique, very, uh, yeah, very I have similar sisters families. with some super unique names. As oh well. yeah. yeah. Um, so before we wrap things up, because we're gonna start running out of time, yes. did you have another no. question? We're good. We're good. We're good. Um, so. What else lies for you yes. in, in in the future? What what other things would you like to do and explore? Because you're you're doing so much now. Yes, you are. And on top of that, un, unbeknownst to me, you you host as well, That's which right. I never knew that until I started doing my research. <laughs> I was like, Look at Michelle, she's hosting, and then I got nervous because I was like, oh, she's going to be on the other yeah, side. She, yeah, she's a real oh, host. She's a real host. She's a real host. <laughs> But, you are so funny. But what what else? Because I mean, you've done so much in your career. Like, what else are you are are you wanting to explore? Uh, well, I mean, I think that's it's a good question. I mean, I kind of love all of it. You know, yeah. I don't love one thing more than the other. I do love hosting, and yeah. I do love playing. You know, the bitch, but I also love playing. You know, comedy and yeah, you know yeah. the drama, and um, so. I feel like it's all so creatively stimulating, so I don't want to um, close any doors. You yeah. know, right now I'm excited to see, you know, what's out there, and um, I can't wait to, to. Every single day, it's like a different thing. You know, mm -hmm. with the web series and the movie and the hosting yeah. the daytime carp Emmy carpet, and um, you know, and, and trying to do original content on the side. So. Yeah. Um, I just feel like it's kind of an exciting time. It's fun, and um, I'll keep you guys posted. Yes, yes. please, well, you please have to. do. Please keep us yes, posted please. because we love to tell our fans what we do. you guys are up we to. Do. So we do. Keep letting us know. Um, and oh, and Mistresses this Thursday. Yes, oh, yes, yes. Thursday. Don't forget yes. ABC Mistresses. Yes. Check your local <laughs> listings for time. Yes. Please support Chriselle Stouts yes. um, because we want to show her as much love and support as we can. And if you guys want to see her back on days, hashtag Bring Jordan back. That's love right. It. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Michelle, thank you so much for thank joining you. us today. Yeah, it's been an absolute you. pleasure. You guys are the best. Thank, thank you. you. Thank and thank you. you guys for joining us. And you can join us every Sunday right here on AfterBuzz TV for Edition Days, where we recap the full week of your favorite soap opera, Days of Our Lives, every Sunday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, before we finally sign out, <laughs> where again can they find you on social media? I am at Chrishell7, C-H-R-I-S-H-E-L-L-7, and then Chrishell.info. Perfect. And you can find me at Black Hope LA, that's B-L-A-K-H-O-P-E-L-A on Twitter, and you can listen to me every Friday morning on AdrenalineRadio.com. And you guys can find me on all social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Periscope at Lounging with Tony and LoungingWithTony.com. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll see you next time for AfterBuzz TV Spotlight On. Thank you. Hi, guys. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. I was going to wait until you had normal.